Hey game developers, Bilal from Zenfinity.net and this is the beginning of a tutorial series or rather a kind of course that'll be a primer on how to use C-sharp and object-oriented programming in general with Unity. Um, and the reason for this is because a, a Unity programming already is not normal so I think it's important to uh, actually understand completely what, what your programming language is doing. Um, and it really will bring your coding to a whole new level because I know that um, when I started out, uh, you know, a few years back, doing this more seriously, uh, because before that I was like a Java programmer and a Lua programmer, you know, and I, in general I was a bad programmer. Um, and so when I really started programming was after I had started using Unity, and that was before I even did any sort of professional education on programming. Um, and when I was doing that, uh, you know, I would learn programming concepts, but taking it to the next level really happened once I understood, like, everything that was going on around, well, not literally everything, but, you know, like, the, what, what C Sharp is doing and how to use, um, all these features and the extra stuff you can do to really, um, get a good understanding and take your code to the next level. So... That's what we're going to be doing here, and so, I mean, you can see I have this page on my screen here, um, and obviously it's, you know, how to install Visual Studio, and I'll show you, I mean, if you search in Google, let's see, um, Visual Studio install, um, then you should find, I believe it might be this one, docs, yeah, so, so yeah, I mean, for me it was the third result. Uh, so you go to this page and it'll show you how to install Visual Studio and the reason we're doing that is um, because well if you're on Windows um, it's just kind of the standard for game development um, and especially Unity because Visual Studio has built-in Unity features and so we're actually in the you know next episode we're not going to be doing any any uh, unity related stuff we're just going to be starting out um, and actually building a console application um, so that you can you know see how C sharp works without having to be um, restricted by some uh, external engine so I mean in this episode we're just going to install Visual Studio here so uh, I mean obviously here you see uh, step one is just telling you to check if it works uh, step two is what's really important here so um, you'll click download Visual Studio 2017 it'll take you here um, and so yeah you hit this free download and then it'll take you uh, to like step three and so you'll have this uh, vscommunity.exe which uh, will install this Visual Studio installer which is really important because that's how you're going to install the actual C sharp uh, components for it um, and so yeah it's, it'll ask you to continue and then it'll pull up this, uh, this thing here where you select your workloads. And uh, over here we can see .NET devel uh, desktop development. So I actually have the installer installed because I use Visual Studio every day. So let's open that. Um, and I'll show you like really uh, what, it will, what it will look like and what you need to install. So um, first I, I believe over here it'll... Yeah, so, so you can pick one of these workloads. So... For me, the workloads are under modify because I already have Visual Studio installed. So if we hit modify here, um, yeah, so we have this little loading. Um, so see how I have this check mark here? You can click on a workload, um, and over here it has optional. So these are the ones that I have. Really, really, this is the one that matters, is .NET Framework 4 to 4.6 development tools. Uh, if you don't know what .NET is, don't worry about it. It's basically just um, C Sharp features so that we can actually you know, build a console application. Um, and so like once you have those checked, you'd hit modify, um, or over here, since you're installing it for the first time, uh, you would just hit install. And uh, that's, that's in this optional part for selecting individual components. So uh, yeah, I believe here you could just click on this workload and then hit install and you should be good. Um, and sorry if this, this entire tutorial seems mundane, but I mean, uh, it's important that you install like the correct uh, framework here so that you can actually follow along by testing your applications and that's why. I mean I usually don't like doing an installing tutorial but that's it's just something that I want to get clear for people who are absolutely new. So yeah I wouldn't worry about uh, language packs of course unless you want something other than English. And um, yeah so 
So now you should have Visual Studio installed after you go through all that. Um, you can either launch it here, or what I like to do is, so I don't have to use the mouse at all, type in Visual Studio, and then I can use the arrow keys, go down here and hit enter, and that'll hit open Visual Studio. Okay, so that's actually going to be it for this video. Um, and yeah, just make sure to subscribe and you'll see the next uh, installment of it. Actually, it'll come like right after this one because uh, this is not really a tutorial. Um, and yeah, I uh, will see you in the next video.